Welcome learners, this is the second video lecture of unit 1 that is introduction to research. So, in this video lecture, I will be discussing two points. One is your process of research and another one is features of a good research study. So, as in my earlier video lectures, uh, I have highlighted uh, the process of research. Basically, the process of research consists of six steps. First is your defining the problem, then developing an approach to the problem and then formulating a research design. Then after formulation of the research design, we will collect the data and then next step is your analyzing the data and last stage of this research uh, process is preparation of the report. So, let us start these steps one by one. First, uh, like defining the problem. So, in defining the problem, the researcher should take into account the purpose of the study, the relevant background information, the information needed for this study and how it will be used by managers in making decisions. So, first they will identify what is the problem which they are going to study. Then the second is, second step is development of an approach to the problem. It consists of formulating an analytical framework and models and research questions and hypotheses and identifying the information needed. So, once like uh, we have defined the problem, next we will try to prepare the analytical framework for this problem, like how we are going to solve this problem, what will be our hypothesis, what models we are going to use, all these decisions we will take in the step 2. Then step 3 is formulating a research design. Generally, we call this uh, formulation of research design as a blueprint of a study or blueprint of a research. That means, here we will give a formal structure to the research. So, its purpose is to design a study that will test the hypothesis of interest, then determine possible answers to the research questions and provide the information needed by managers for making decisions. Then determining the types of research to be conducted, defining the variables precisely and designing appropriate skills to measure them are also part of this uh, research design. The issues of how the data should be obtained uh, from the respondents, all these things we will discuss under formulation of research design. So, uh, in formulation of research design, we can either decide whether we will go for qualitative research or whether we are going for quantitative research. So, uh, both this qualitative and quantitative research has got uh, advantages and disadvantages. So, we need to check with which one will be more convenient for us. Suppose uh, like we want to do survey okay, for uh, our research, then uh, the researcher can use variety of okay, survey methods. Suppose they can use telephonic survey, mail intercept survey or maybe like internet nowadays through WhatsApp, every, every like there are many devices through which they can do survey. So, suppose you have decided one of particular survey methods, then your next step will be questionnaire design. So, uh, what type of questionnaire you are going to design? Generally, we use uh, some demographic information, then uh, we use like in our questionnaire, whatever like product or services related questions will be there that we put in our questionnaire. Always remember like the simpler the questions are, it will be more clearer for the respondent to reply. So, questions should be very easy to understand and uh, most of the questions we need to put in closed ended, like people do not have much time. So, instead of explaining all the answers, what they, uh, what they, can, they will prefer to do, just tick it, like yes, no or like uh, strongly agree, disagree in okay, different 5 point, 7 point, all these Likert scales. So, questionnaire designing is again another uh, important factor for uh, like uh, preparing the research design. Next, we need to decide sampling design, like what type of sampling method we are going to use for our study. 
So, all these things you will get uh, in later uh, units of your book uh, when I will be explaining again all these things in detail. So, here under formulation of research design, we need to decide what type of research we are going to do, whether qualitative or quantitative, then what uh, survey methods we are going to use, then we need to design the questionnaire and then we need to uh, decide what type of sampling design we are going to do for this study. Then the fourth step is doing the field work or collecting the data. Field work or data collection involves a field force or a staff like which will go to the field and collect the information from the respondents. So, nowadays uh, I, I, instead of going physically to the field, we also collect data through with the help of internet like through uh, email or maybe Google form or maybe like through WhatsApp or any kind of uh, form we can collect the data. So, once suppose we have collected the data, then what will be the next step? The step 5 is analyzing the data. So, data preparation involves adequately preparing the data for analysis. Each questionnaire or observation form is inspected or edited and if necessary corrected for any errors. Number of later codes are assigned to represent each response to uh, its sections. So, under analyzing the data, what we will do? Whatever information we have collected from the field, we will edit it. Like some respondents, they may not fill all the questionnaires. Maybe 30% uh, of the questionnaire they have filled up and 70% they left blank. So, what we will do? We will just uh, delete those informations, like those respondents. So, we need to, under editing, we need to check whether the respondents have properly filled up the questionnaire or not which responses we can collect or like where there are many errors, those responses we will just neglect. Then uh, what we will do, we will check the validity and reliability of this data. And if these data are uh, like valid and reliable for our study, then we will analyze the data with the help of different statistical tools. And then the last step is preparing and presentation of the report. The entire project should be documented in a written report that addresses the research questions, describe the approach, the research design, data collection and the data analysis procedure and present the result as a and a major findings. So, the data findings should be presented in a comprehensive format and like uh, we put different tables, figures, graphs, etc., whichever is necessary for this particular study. So, uh, let me explain these steps in the, as a gist. First, what we will do? We will define the research problem. Then, we will develop an approach to the problem. After that, we will design a research. Uh, we will formulate a research design. Then, once everything is specific, then we will go to the field for data collection and once data is collected, we will check for the reliability and validity of the data and then based on that, we will analyze the data. And once data analysis is completed, we will prepare a report for our study. Then we will go to the second part of this uh, video lecture, that is what are the features of a good research study. When we talk about a research, research means like searching for the facts, searching for uh, like replies to the various queries and also for the solutions to the various problems. So, while we are going to searching for the facts and figures, so we need to be ethical. Like uh, some researcher what they do instead of going to the field, they will manipulate the data. So, instead of doing such things, uh, when we are going to do a good research, we need to be ethical towards our research, then research should be in a systematic nature. Systematic nature means whatever steps I have said, like we should not skip any of the step. We should go from one step to the another. Then it should be logical. So, when I say it should be logical, that means like whatever study we are going to 
conduct like uh, any organization is going to conduct it should be within the capacity of the organization so uh, suppose instead of going for census the organizations prefer to go for the survey sample survey why because census will be much more costlier compared to the sample survey then it should be empirical and replicable in nature so uh, suppose someone has already done a study in a particular field so instead of doing same study in the same field we need to do different study in different field then it should be according to the plan then it should be according to the rules and assumptions should not be based on the false basis or jud judgment and the studies should be free from biasness and it should be relevant to what is required for our study so that's all about uh, this features of a good research study hope you have understood this video lecture and i have put here some of the references you can go through it thank you